All right, this is Cyclops Magazine. We're here with a familiar face in Katie Keo, the winner, Queen of Dirty Kanza. How does that sound? Oh, it sounds really awesome and special, and it's a uh, uh, really cool. Did the race live up to your expectations? Uh, yes, in like times ten. It was everything, like everything I heard about and more. So I definitely couldn't have imagined anything, anything like it. Really, it's really crazy. So early on, there were a ton of heavy hitters in the field, and you were right there in the mix. Was that part of your plan, or was there not a lot of thinking? The, there wasn't really any th much thinking, but the only plan we really had was like just to ride within ourselves, myself, and see how long we could stay in with like the the good guys, because they kind of just pull you along. And I did that until like just after the first, just after the first checkpoint, and then I got into a second, the second like chase group. And then after that, it was just kind of riding with Luke and like by ourselves basically. And um, sometimes we would pass people that had gotten dropped off that um, big group, but otherwise we were like completely alone, which was demoralizing. But um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How was the headwind? Uh, it uh, looked pretty gnarly. It sucked. It was, <laughs> and every time we went into a headwind, it was the longest stretch of road, like completely straight, like five miles, four miles, three miles, five miles, five miles. And it was like, Oh, but, but um, yeah, we, we got through it. So yesterday we were talking, I think before we chatted about how your place is on the dirt, uh, yeah. on the off-road. Yeah. You still feel that way after 206 um, miles? Yeah, like I, I, I don't really, I'm not super passionate about the road anymore. Um, I've just done that for so long and cyclocross is like, I'm super passionate about it and gravel was something new and exciting to try and it was an adventure and Cannondale was 100% supportive and um, super like stoked about it and I, I'm excited that they invited me to try it out and um, yeah, no, I like, I like riding off road. So your dad is sitting right over there. Yeah. Uh, how did the, the pit exchanges go? Um, well, this was our first time doing anything like this. My dad, back in his day, raced Paris, Brest, Paris, and Boston, Montreal, Boston, and my uncle Byron was his support crew for that. So the two of them were our support crew today. But again, this is like our first, Luke and I's first time ever doing anything like this. So it was a little stressful. I think maybe next time I, I took away a lot today to apply next time. But they did, they were amazing and they gave a lot of like, super great insight and um, advice for today. And it, I mean, it was all right. I panicked in a few of them. It was like screaming because I thought I forgot my battery and my Garmin was gonna die, but Luke had it and I was just like, but uh, yeah, you can't, there's always a little drama, I guess, and especially in something like this. So yeah. How did it compare to pit exchanges in cyclocross? Um, I'd say we were almost just as fast as Gary and I do a pit exchange, maybe a few seconds slower, but we were pretty quick today. We, what, what do you think the longest we stopped was like a minute? Yeah, we didn't stop very long, so it was pretty good. And Gary would be proud. Uh, <laughs> uh, and I believe in the Luke fell in the water because yeah. he wasn't sure. Are He's you gonna wearing get... his road shoes because that was like probably the smartest thing for him because he doesn't he struggles with knee problems, especially with his accident. So yeah, it was it was like ice under the on the base of the water. So but it probably felt pretty good. I after the fact I was like, oh, I wish we could have just sat in there, but it was it felt good. <laughs> So now that you're the queen of Dirty Cons, I think that means one, you have to come back next year, but yeah. are we gonna see you at more gravel events now? Um, I don't know, there's a little bit of talk of it, but we'll, we'll see, but yeah, for sure, I wanna do this again next year. Um, it's just a super unique and special um, event in an awesome environment, and the people in Emporia are really cool, so yeah, I'd, I'd love to come back. Sweet, congratulations, Katie, you. on your win, and thank go you. enjoy being the queen of Dirty Cons. I'll try, I gotta limp out of here, but I uh, thank you very much. <laughs>